the cylinder was made out of. It seemed to be made of some sort of goo, similar to that which was pushed into his face as he passed through it. He looked back into the eyes of the second parent as if to ask, why? material that made up the base of the cylinder when he felt the familiar sensation of warm water around him. His second parent let go of him at that point, and he felt himself float helplessly in the water for a few moments. And Zack felt a number of the squid creature's tentacles wrap around him, and he almost shuddered at the feel of them on his skin. He took one last look at his two alien parents on the other side of the transparent outer material of the cylinder. They looked concerned about him. How he knew this It must have just been something About their alien looking expressions There were even a few voices in his head Telling him that he was probably reading The whole situation incorrectly But he only really knew he was right When he finally saw his two parents Flinging their arms around each other for comfort with this, he instantly knew that they must be his parents. And he knew that they must love him. Welcome. object that was still attached to his forehead as it did a sudden rush of memories from Zack's human life flash before his eyes a massive pain sparked and rushed though his head as they did and Zack screamed with the intensity of it then before he knew it he ended up at the very last memories of his human life the hospital his family gathered around And then the sensation Of floating away from his bed As he looked down on his dead human body After this, Zack Felt himself floating in a dark void of nothingness again And he felt certain that he was dead once more However before he could come to terms with this, he heard a familiar soothing, humming, and clicking noise. He then found himself back in the arms of his second parent, with them looking down at him and smiling at him again. He found himself smiling back whilst he saw his little alien face doing so in the red reflective eyes of the creature that was holding him.
Understand us now, came a voice out of nowhere. Zack turned to see where the voice was coming from. And he found himself looking right back at the squid creature within the cylinder. His name Zack, it said, with a series of out of sync movements of its beak. Hi Zack, the creature that was holding him said. Welcome to your next life. Welcome, welcome to your next life. 